This is Oyetole a village in a Bohe sub county called a district, the home to a nine year old girl whose identity we cannot reveal because she is a minor. Okay? After the death of her mother, she lived here together with her father, brothers, and stepmother. Unfortunately, when her stepmother was nearing delivery, she was advised by her peers that the epileptic girl would pass on the disease to her unborn child when she passes behind her. This innocent girl would then be locked in this hut with the ducks and rabbits to mitigate this wrong belief. She however blamed her husband. If you see that kid, it's really sad. When someone just talks and says it, you don't see it. And you know how ducks and chicken really want the wound. The wound, the big wounds are on both sides of the hips. Douglas Omara is the chairperson else one of this village. He said Tom Anyati, the victim's father, is feared by almost everyone because of drugs and character. She was saved by well-wishers after a tip-off who rushed her to Lira Regional Referral Hospital since she was severely malnourished and had developed septic wounds on both hips. Thanks to social media and UBC TV that ran the story prompting key stakeholders concerned, among whom was the Epilepsy Support Association Uganda who drove over 300 kilometers to Lira City to assess her situation and offer support. And if there is anyone who understands epilepsy, epilepsy, people get seizures. Just imagine when you're tied up and uh, you're having a seizure, people out there, a person living with epilepsy did not choose to have it. It is believed that in every seven people, one person has epilepsy and over 50 million people suffer from epilepsy worldwide. But what is key here for a person with epilepsy is getting their medication right. She warned the Ugandans against mistreating those suffering from epilepsy. Because if, if Juliet was mistreated at that level, when she gets better, where is she going back to? Whoever is out there, we call upon everybody. Juliet needs a home now. Behind me is the hut where the epileptic girl was being kept for more than a week without food on claims that actually she would pass on epilepsy to their unborn baby. She is currently battling for her health at Lira Regional Referral Hospital. I'm Eddie Olua, reporting for UBC News.